You are lying, so it says, do I believe it? No, not really. <laughs> Being slow today, YouTube. I would appreciate the confirmation. Monsieur Le there we go, there we go, there we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first seasonal content update for King Arthur Knight's Tale. I have some good news, some bad news, and some patch notes. So let's go over the patch notes first. That's the best part. Today we will be playing, though, for the record, over here, the Chained God. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I ripped it from my thumbnail. We'll be playing the brand new miniature campaign focused on the Fomorians. This tells the tale of how Baylor broke free from his shackles and arrived in Avalon. However, as mentioned before, let's go over the patch notes because there are a few things, my friends, that are concerning, but also probably appropriate. First of all, the first seasonal content is here. The Chained God is a seasonal content, a short standalone campaign where you control a fearless Fomorian champion. The campaign is a set of skirmish missions without management options. A purely tactical experience with a story that ties into the main story of Knight's Tale. The four difficulty levels available in the regular campaign are available in this season as well. We will probably be playing on hard because uh, I don't know what to expect in very hard can sometimes be sketchy. These seasonal missions will be remain playable even after future releases. That's a good feature. That's good. No FOMO, fear of missing out. Good. This is the part that I'm actually I'm actually more excited for this than I am the uh, the new season, but I'm still excited to play as Morians. The revamped endgame. For those of you who don't know, once you clear Act 4, there is a post-game afterwards, and the original post-game was kind of bland. It was just like recycled missions without, like, any voice actor or anything. So hopefully uh, this has spiced up a little bit. 20 new endgame missions available now after one has completed the story campaign. These missions require an even more tactical approach than the previous ones. True, the previous ones were kind of stumps. In 12 missions, you will face the mighty Fomorians. Eight missions are against the various enemy factions you have already encountered in the campaign. Old endgame missions are still accessible by loading saves which were created after the completion of Act 4. Those players who have not yet reached the end of the story will gain access only to the new endgame missions. This is why I didn't kill Arthur in my um, in the Divine Rule playthrough, uh, which does have some bad news about it. Players who have reached... Here's the good news, though. Players who have reached the story already can open up the new endgame by loading their save file, which was created right after the completion of the Act 4 story mission. A new tab has been added, which displays this uh, specific save. That means the Dread Queen will return. I'm very excited to get back to Arcanus. I love them so much. The fights against the in-game bosses, King Brass, Great Worm, Baylor, were rebounds to provide an even greater challenge than before, because I did kind of just crush their body and soul. It was... kind of fun. <laughs> Most in-game units were revised. Their damage output has been decreased slightly, but their vitality has been boosted at the same time. The seasonal endgame mechanics. Joy, oh joy. So collect soul fragments. Slain Fomorians will drop a fragment of their souls that can be collected by stepping on them. Soul Fragments still hold part of the malicious Fomorian essence. Picking up one bestows various debuffs on a hero based on the type of soul. Soul Fragments expire after two turns. Soul Fragments are lost if not picked up before expiry or by the end of the encounter, except for the one dropped at the very end of the encounter. Is there a reason to pick this up then? It sounds like it's going to debuff you. Oh, is this the new resource? Oh, okay. I should keep reading. You may encounter Fomorian Spires on missions. These Spires empower Fomorians and conjure powerful hurricanes every turn. My, I hate hurricanes. Destroy them. Destroying them not only eliminates these effects, but also grants you a Spire Shard. Collect like Spire Shards to empower your relics' unique enchantments. I expect fun for this. The Soul Merchant is located in Camelot. 20 plus new seasonal relic items have been added to its stock. Acquire them with collected Soul Fragments to enhance your hero's capability. So stepping on them is, is worth it. Probably. Some of these relics have unique enchants that grow stronger as you acquire more Spire Shards. The Soul Merchant stock does not refresh. All its goods are visible from the start, so you can plan ahead. Fantastic. Thank you. Reduce storage space requirement. This was really important. I actually had to buy a new hard drive to put more games on it. The occupied hard drive space of Space Knight, uh, Knight's Tale excuse me, has been decreased by more than... percent? I think they said... Six, 40 percent? The current size was reached by compressing those textures. Yes. Due to the aforementioned changes, the current patch has a bigger size than the update reached. 
as the update restructures and replaces many files in the game's directory. All saves will remain playable. It's on GeForce. The special guest is that Baylor is voiced by Co Carnage, a popular streamer. Good for him. He was supportive of the game for the very beginning, so they did something cool together. Very proud. Very happy. There are now the difficulty levels in roguelite mode. I thought it had the difficulty levels, but hey, now it does. Uh, shield stuff to make it easier to see. Respecking all skill points is cancelable. Okay. Translation. Added a description in the tale of Sir Uvain mission about the disabled manual saves during the mission. You can't manually save in the tales of Sir Uvain mission? <laughs> I did not know that. So here's where the spice comes in. Vanguards. Oh boy. It was well known that Sir Tristan was one of the most powerful units in the entire game at the end. And uh, I proved that, I think. So they... Vanguards across the board have been rebalanced. Their default surprise damage has been lowered to 30% from 50%. Their surprise damage while in hidden state has been lowered to 20% from 50%. Oof. Their backstab damage has been lowered by half from 15% to 30%. And their backstab damage from ambush has been lowered to 15% from 20%. Various items granting surprise damage have also been moderately nerfed. Their comment. Vanguards got really out of hand late game, easily dealing three to four times the damage that other classes were able to do. This is true. These nerfs aim to mitigate that while keeping the early and mid levels of the class intact. After the changes, Vanguards will still be able to dish up more damage than any other classes. About 1.5 times damage the of champions, for example but they will not be able to single-handedly delete whole enemy teams, which was really fun. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to find a way to make it so they can still do that. I'll try anyway. Rebalance the effect of the Demonic Possession Tag to be less potent. Thank the Dark Gods. Various endgame maps have been improved from a balanced perspective. Thank the Dark Gods. Most of the endgame enemies have been rebalanced. Damage numbers have been scaled down, while Vitality Armor and Action Point numbers have been turned up to present a more fair and consistent challenge. AP, huh? Hmm. The minimum range of the Marksman Poison Bomb is now 2 instead of 3. Nerfing Marksman. I feel like Marksman's already the weakest class. Don't know how I feel about that, but hey, it's not a huge nerf. From now on, the Mental Debuff resists stat, defends units against the chill effect of Lady Morgana Le Fay's Ice Strike instead of the Physical Debuff. Minor change, but it makes sense, I suppose. Does it? I don't know. Resisting chill feels like a physical effect. and eh, whatever. This is a huge change for me. The Vanguard Sprint skill will put the hero into hidden state at the end of the player's turn if the conditions for hide are sufficient, i.e. they can't be spotted there. This makes it so that... Is it Bedivere who has this? Bedivere is not absolute garbaggio, in my opinion. I absolutely loathe Sprint, and now it's okay. Jump is probably still better, but now, now this is usable, I think. The Fire Drake skill received a range tag, finally, so it can now benefit from enchants providing increased range for range skills. I was always perplexed at why it wasn't doing anything, and I guess that's why. Uh, Glowing Sphere's Zap skill no longer ignores the armor of the hero. Don't know what that is. The Burrow Queen's Bite skill will no longer stun our heroes. Oh, that's nice. All right, and then a bunch of bugs fixes. Skills were fixed as well. I don't remember seeing any that were huge. They fixed Merlin's Falling Star. All right, that's the patch. It is in the description. It'll be in the pinned comment once the stream is done, uh, if I remember. But yeah, that's what we can expect. So now for the bad news. Who's ready for the bad news? <sighs> it's a buff to poison. Oh, it's a buff. Okay. Went from two to three. Got it. Sorry, I misread that. So they buffed Marksman, which I think is needed. <laughs> Was it just um, Dindrain who had that? Anyway, hello, Kidamets and Sabetify. Here's the bad news before we get into the new campaign. <sighs> this is going to hurt my soul. When I loaded into my Divine Rule playthrough, which is the one where we're rightful King Christian, I loaded in and someone was missing. This spot right here. It's empty. At first, I thought it was Galahad. But as you can see, Sir Galahad is here looking as manly as ever. And as I was going down the list thinking, who the hell I'm missing, I realized who it was. My Deus Volt is gone. 
The meme has ended. He was so strong, they had to kill him. I don't know what happened. I just loaded the save file, and he's he's gone. Lost into the void. Destroyed. And uh, the bad news is he took my thingy with him. My teleporty thingy. So, yeah. <sighs> the day you felt is gone. I'm actually more upset about this than I thought I would. I thought I'd get over it, but I'm still mad about it. <laughs> Okay, anyway, back to the main menu. Because today is not the... Ooh. Today is not the day to lament about the loss of the Divine Rule. Although depressing. This would have made it so much easier to cut out if it did this when I was trying to cut this. Was the room as passive? No, he, he was like fully loyal. I just loaded in and he was just deleted. He just wasn't there at all. If he... I'm pretty sure that if he was like dismissed or ran away, I'd still have the items. But... Alas, I submitted it as a bug, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing that can be done. Because if I try to load the old, like, battle saves, uh, the game spits out an error about incompatible save file or something. But anyway, enough thinking about that. Today, we're here for one thing, and one thing only. And that, my friends, is The Chained God is a seasonal content, a short, standalone campaign where you control a fearless Fiborian champion. The campaign is a set of skirmish missions without management options, a purely tactical experience of the story that ties into the events of King Arthur and Stale. Ages ago, Baelor, the one-eyed god, the deity of the monstrous Fomorians, was banished by the Tuatha de Nan into the emptiness of the void, the non-space between the worlds of all creation. Still, even in his otherworldly prison, he has been far from helpless. Baelor has been plotting his return for a very long time reaching out to his believers and adepts through vision, subtly and patiently, manipulating mortals during centuries. You are Baylor's champion. You have been slumbering in your timeless sleep beyond the world, but now you are awake. You have been summoned. A strange sensation is pulling you back from the emptiness straight towards the churning seas of the other world, to the mystical island of Avalon, where you once fought against the Lady of the Lake in Baylor's army. We'll be playing on hard difficulty, because uh, I like hard. I typically don't like playing on the hardest difficulty. And I don't know what to expect, so here we go. The Grand Return. The Glorious Return. Oh, yeah. Nice close-up. So the picks are something. Oh, yeah, that's right. The picks worship Baylor when they're scared or something. Oh, I'm a shield bearer. Can't I be the other one, the the one with the stick? In the name of the old gods, we must stop this ritual right now. How could shield guys die to an archer shot? <laughs> Little do they know. We are too late. Hold this beast off until I bring more warriors. The blood of the pick sustains me as well. Blood for the blood god! Skulls for the skull throne! I have one attack, goddammit. My name is Regan. Okay. Well. Let's try an overwatch. I'm gonna get shot by the archer, but I have a shield. Look at that, blocked. Really? Pop. Okay. Bop. And bop. All right. The AI was smart enough not to walk into my Overwatch, but uh, not that bad. Do I get a hot goth GF here? That'd be great. Finally did it. Hear my words, great Cameron Bonecrusher. I have summoned you here, Hammer of Baylor. Ha! I am not Bonecrusher, tiny mortal. He is but a lowly servant, while I am Regon, the champion of Baylor. What? But the right was to summon Cameron. Wait. You are bound by our magic. You must obey my orders. Your magic is weak, and your gate is just a hole in the world. 
I could barely squeeze through. Impossible. Hundreds sacrificed their blood that we could create this portal. You have wasted all that precious blood on this pitiable gate. You should have fed me instead, you fools. I could still help you. Obey me and you shall have your feast of blood. Silence, weakling. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess they're not really into goths. Can you hear me, King Balor? I'm here. I used the crude magic to answer your summons. I can hear you, my champion, and I can see through your eyes. You are weak. You must feed on my power. Find my shamans and gorge on their souls. Okay, that's not fair. That's a voice modulator. I'm just working with what I've got naturally. <laughs> I like the sound effect of me stomping around, though. It's nice and subtle. Hurry! Cleanse this place from the pit savages! For the council! Oh, it's a champion. Look at that. Oh, oh this... hell no! Oh, hell yes! Alright. Hmm... I think it is best that I make my way over here. Oh. Well, okay. I can feel the power of Balor. Even in his death, this man is seething with my master's magic. If only I had Cleave. If only. Alright. I mean, sure. There we go. My back's to the wall, so you can't... You can't sneak in. You can try. <sighs> Bop. Goes the weasel. I am on hard mode, right? I guess this is just because I only have one attack. Gimme. Stomp skill re oh, Okay, I'm slowly getting stronger. Got it. I'm assuming all of these icons are power of some kind. Yes. Ooh. Blood for the blood god. Oh, it's health. This is for the ritual. I can taste the blood in the air. This would be the island of Avalon. The land of the ancients. This world seems too small and delicate. It does, doesn't it? Mm Okay, so the flags are my skills and the skull things are my vitality. Got it? Good to go. Do you really need anything but your basic attack when you one shot? No. No, I don't. But still. The old ones banished me from this land, but my return is imminent. These mongrels are not a threat to me. When I get rid of my chains, the Fomorians will sweep them away. Sounds good. I thought this would be defended or something. Hey, there's Cleave. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Come on, people. Kill this beast. Damn it. It's a giant. It is. So what does Stomp do? Deals 500% weapon damage to a single target. I guess I'm stomping him. Deals 75% weapon damage to every unit in a 4 by 2 tile wide in front of the hero causes freeze. Are you serious? Okay. I mean, sure. I guess I'm just going to kill him. <laughs> or not. Okay. Um, I don't want to get backstabbed. Well, look at that. They lined up nicely for me. Oh. Okay. Do 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 do. Wasn't the cleanest thing in the world, but hey, it helps that I seem to have like a seventy percent block chance. 
I'm not sure how that happened, but I'm not going to ask questions either. Oh, you know what? I should just ran at him. I forgot. We're dealing with opportunity attacks. Hey, there. I hope you're doing well. These would be the humans who rule this world now. We used to fight gods and dragons. How could these weaklings ever stand against us? I don't know, bro. I've killed my fair share of Fomorians. Death curse helps out a lot. You'd be surprised. I am grateful for your trust in me, my one-eyed god. Don't mm -hmm. flatter yourself. <laughs> you are not the first Fomorian I've sent to Avalon, but you are the one I need now the most. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> well, I mean, he was called a dark god for a reason, I suppose. Armor skill regained. Wait, like, like, generate armor? Oh, is this Sir Seely? Please be Sir Seely. That would explain why he's data mind. Hold your ground while I call our Seely patron. The Seely aren't going to save you. Just woke up, sort of sound like the character right now. Oh, he's just a... They're just generic Blackthorn Knights, bro. Alright, well. When in doubt, hide in the corner. Regain three armor after every enemy killed for three turns. Okay. Are you really not going to come at me? Good, Anakin, good. Well, I'll pop this. Uh, who has the mass HP? It's you, I think. Would you look at that? Hmm. Oh, I can use that freezing cleave as, like, crowd control, too. I forgot it froze. I'm not sure what these guys are up to. Oh, I have one turn until they summon shit. Well, that's fine. It's not like it really matters. I'm just sitting here collecting armor. Oh, no. The Seely are here. Whatever shall I do? You know, bro, it'd be pretty cool if you came and fought me. I won't hurt you, I promise. I promise. Oh, they're coming. Oh, no. Would you look at that? I'm so afraid. <laughs> oh, it's the Seely Lord. Look at that. Well... It should be fine. Uh, as long as there are conditions. It should be fine. As long as Stomp doesn't miss. Oh no. There's a chance he could dodge this. Please don't. I shouldn't have said anything. Maybe I should have done that first. Absolute bastard. Well, at least they can do it again. There we go. Can't dodge when you're frozen. Little bastard. Seely. Mm. Call rock skill regained. Let's call some rocks. I wonder if that's the rock throw ability that we just got on either playthrough, or if that's something else. Well, there's plenty of archers for me to find out on, I guess. Oh, you have a bunch of buffs, Mr. Sir Anwaz. Deals damage to every unit in an area of 3x3 three three tiles.
Looks like it is what I expected. All right. Regain armor. Drop the base. And... Probably more important I stay away from you, although they only have strike. Make our way over here. Yes, shoot me. I'll block it with my shield. Alright. I guess I'm stomping on you. Cool. Get domed. Um, probably not bad if I use this, but I could also just wait till next turn. I think it'll be more advantageous then. Especially since it's my last turn to gain stuff. Armor. Thank you for gathering up. I appreciate it. Thank you for gathering up. I appreciate it. Hmm. So Gower is a little bit of a problem, considering he provides mass damage to all these mean people. That's okay. I'll kill him next turn. With this. Okay. One shot. One tap. And then there was one. This must be the new shield icon, by the way. Which I totally just realized. Let's raise him. So far, easy peasy. I'm just tanking everything. Like the Chad that I am. But the Fomorian should be... So we have all of our skills back. We're just waiting to get max health again. If I were a little more cautious, I wonder if I could have full armor now. You know, and not just running into everything. Maybe. Maybe not. Here you are. A shadow from the past. Talk to me, monster. I know you can. I don't talk to my dinner. You must be smarter than you look. Crawl back to the void while you can. It won't happen. When my master calls, I obey. Oh, your master has been trapped. We have been aware of his scheming for a long time, and we have been prepared for his arrival. Empty words, empty threats. Are you sure? Baylor must have kept the truth from you. You'll pay for your disrespect, dinner. All right. You would summon the gates. Oh, what a bitch. All right. Uh, all right. I'm hoping they don't summon the dawn break, the day dawn things. No. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Okay. Um, I guess my position here is okay. I'm going to get backstabbed by that one. Oh, here comes the archers. I knew they'd come eventually. With the seven, huh? They should break down, right? Yeah. So honestly, is it even worth going out to attack them? It's not. I really do need to pull back, though. Like, put my back here and just kill all the reinforcements. It's 
pretty important that I save my freeze. Unfortunately. Lived it one. Motherfucker. Hope oh, we don't get too backstabbed here. Uh. Okay. Do not dodge this. Thank you. Next turn, I'm freezing all the Seelie Lords. Um, they're smarter than I thought they'd be. Problem? Fine. This is all I can do for now. I'm gonna lose a lot of health here. But we're almost done, I think. Armor up! I almost don't even want to swing. Okay. Here we go. Can't dodge that. Bitch. I like how I'm literally just like one damage off. Okay, I'm gonna use this to secure the kill. I don't want him to dodge again. That's not nice. Alright. Oof. Really gonna backstab me like that, huh? Secure the kill. It's fine. A little bit of a waste, but it secures the kill, and that's what's important. <sighs> Silly bitches. Hold on. I might recover full health uh, when we finish, but I'm going to eat this just in case. Just in case I don't. Alrighty. Mission complete. Your master used the slow decay of the magical island to orchestrate his return. But a cabal of the old faith druids and your ancient enemies, the She, trapped Baylor upon his arrival. You must gain back your powers before you can set him free. Avalon used to be a land of the Fiborians. It must retain some of your arcane heritage. Okay. You mean we gain more of my powers? Because we already have... A few. What were you thinking? Running away into the forest? That giant scared me. Oh, I'll do more than scare you. Run! 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 She was going to say there's another one coming. Does that mean there's another Fomorian here? Nearby. Shackled like me. Free him. I guess so. Oh, you silly bastards. I'm not fighting that. God spare me. Run. What a bunch of cowards. Pretty fun dog. Okay. It looks like I, in fact, did not heal. I'm concerned about this. Although I'm pretty sure I'm immune to knockdown. Yeah. Which makes this better. Not great, though. Hmm. Can I even have cover? I can have partial cover. We'll pull back. It's not exactly a common strategy of the Fomorian, but it's what we'll be employing today. I should have enough AP to do all the things I want to do. I hope. One, two, three. They're not overly clumped up, but they're not not clumped up, you know?
Okay. So far, not being backstabbed. So far. Uh, this should be a kill. I hope so. Yeah, I think that was perfect kill too. Perfect lethal. Calculated. Dear Lord. I'm tired of these mother... Yeah. You know how this thing goes. I'm dropping that there because he's getting close to a backstab. Alright, my armor regain is off now. I hope my next Fomorian is a, um... A Windcaller, whatever they are. The casters. Goodness gracious. I will permit you to live for one more turn. So that you can give me armor. I really do have to make the most of that, don't I? Gain your vitality, destroy the crystals of the Shi. Oh. oh, that's how. The Shi sealed my power into the depths of the earth with their foul crystals. That's how I gain armor. Windcaller! Fiend, how many of you are here? Meet your dead gods, Shi. By the blood of the ancients, destroy him. Now nah, I'm good. <clears throat> Bye. Bye, Felicia. Okay. Oh. I'd love to kill something here. Which I guess is that one. Ooh. Okay, maybe I should have taken a more tactical approach. Well, it's too late for regrets. Bleeding hurts. Anakin, I'm too weak. Fuck you. Okay. Um. This guy's gonna heal a little bit, but I should still be in. Oh dear. Should still be in death range. Nope. No, he's not. Kill him. Please kill him. Okay. I am a little concerned for my safety. Just a little bit. But where's the fun in all that, huh? Last. Welcome. Finally. What took you so long? Shut your mouth and help me instead. Who do you think you are? Because you are not one of us. I am the champion of the one-eyed god. If you ever doubt it again, I will kill you. Wait. What I wanted to say is that 
You are not among the warriors our master sent through the cracks. The cracks between our prison and this world. I don't know and I don't care. Our task is to kill and destroy. You are asking too many questions, brother. Then let us be about it. All right. We have the spellcaster. I need to go recover my health. So whatever's over here, uh, we need to get. Where were you hiding while we marched into battle for our ancient island? Another word of insolence, and I will break your neck. I was imprisoned with our master. You champions always come for the fun part while we do the hard work. Heh. <laughs> Fair point. Temporary damage bonus. Oh. Oh, so those are like shrines. I see. I see. Alright, I guess I have to go all the way around to get that. But it's very important I get that. Because we are in a lot of danger. Who would have guessed that when the Seely are a pain in the ass to a Mordred, they're also a pain in the ass to the Fomorians? Who would have thunk? Excuse me. Please eat this. Thank you. Hmm, okay. Go to the statue. What statue? Oh, is this where Arthur is? That quest? Where Arthur, like, walks through the statue or something? Or people say he walked into the statue and you're investigating it for the first time and the lady's all freaking out like, What are they doing in my world? Even though we knew they returned because that's something she said was happening. Oh, it's time for the Unseelie. Oh, there's a the statue. Where are these monsters coming from? Hey, little pups. How could this creature defeat our warriors? Stop the beast! I must send word to the Blackthorn Council. Yep, I was right. That's this mission. Alrighty, what do you do, Brrrag? You have a strike, you have an earth ball, you have a geyser. You have three geysers below enemies dealing 180% weapon damage, and you can teleport! Wow, okay. Uh, so this isn't one of those. So if I move you up here... One, two, three. That was very loud, but effective. All right. We're going to want you to be back. Oh, hold on. Give me armor. Give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. All right. I don't think anyone can actually reach me here, so I'm just going to stand here and look intimidating. I wonder if the Unsi Lee can pull me. They shouldn't be able to. I'm a bit thick, you know. I'm on the thicker side of things. The sick, the th the thicker side of life. You should probably pull back, Mister. Bonk. Your armor don't mean shit to me, bro. Uh, yeah, you're gonna pull back. If I need to teleport in, I can. All right. Come at me. He probably won't come from this way. I guess I'll go over here. Okay. Oh, there's more. Why is there always more? Okay, this is a little perfect. <laughs> a little too good to pass up on, if I do say so myself. And then I'll take a step back. And drop the B. Boom. Shakalaka. Oh, my armor returns. I'm renewed. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do about you, though. Will this kill you? Please kill you. No. It's fine. 
It's unfortunate, but it's fine. Okay, so we have a Steely Lord, the Fogbringer. This isn't too bad. Uh, you can go Puncher, I guess. Why not? I think our armor collection is done. Yeah, it is. Let's pull back. Burag. You have no range yet, so we'll just let them come to us again. Stack those APs. Ah, wait. There's more? <sighs> That's fine. I'm not mad. Boop, 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 boop. Um, I probably should save this geyser for when there's actually three units here. I you know, I could position carefully. There we go. One, two, three. I'm backing up now. Alright. Perfect. Nice. My armor gathering is back just in time to slap these bitches. Excuse me. Pretty sure I said just in time. I only got to get one armor collection. Darn. This should kill this. Yeah. The Dawnbreakers are too weak for me. I also should be able to stomp on this. Stomp. All on the flow. Wait a minute, that's not how that goes. Uh, and for you. Fortunately. It's so loud. You're gonna have to run. Because he does the jumpy thingy. See? I told you. Jumpy thingy. Because you said Huda Thunk, I got the Hercules Disney movie song. <laughs> My power is still very strong here. Yeah. You can thank Arthur for that. The absolute Why prick. Are all puny mortals swarming all over the land. The Hag of the Lake brought them here. I have no idea why. Some of them serve the she. <laughs> the Hag of the Lake. I like that. <laughs> that's good. That's good. I got the summon skill, by the way, so. Temporary AP gains. The curse of the ancients upon you. Oh no, not these monsters <laughs> again. The bro's like, oh. The are here in Avalon. Our army is growing day by day. Our time has come, brother. Good, good. <laughs> the, the druid comes out, like, yells at me, and then he goes, Oh, shit, no, it's you. Go away. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to kill that druid. He does survive to aid Mordred. Help, help me! I'll eat you. Tell me I won't. Nom, 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 I need to make sure my health is as full as it can be when we end the mission, because I don't recover. Oh, there's a bitch of the winter. You've survived the light breeze of summer, so what? Let us see how you fare against the cruel wind of winter. Eh. I'm not that concerned. I'm a little more concerned. <laughs> bitch. Mark, Eamon, Douglas. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely summoning people. I'm trying to think of how to get rid of these stupid gates. Three wargs are a taint hog. Um. Get a taint hog. Pop it right there. That'll help. Probably. Oh. Not if it has no AP. <laughs> okay.
Hmm. You know what? I could have set that up as a kill. Because I could have done this and this and this. Hmm. Damn. Made another mistake too. Hmm. I'm gonna go here for cover and kill this. Okay, now the problem is what do I do with you? Either I advance. I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with the unsyndicates, huh? Alright. Well. Good news, I suppose. <laughs> uh, everyone and their brother decided to go up here for some reason. So, if I go here. Despite being uh, autoed, this might be dumb. I'm showing my back over here, but. Uh. Wow, your damage is not great. Thought you'd be more efficient, Mr. Tainhog. Maybe you should summon three wargs. This almost kills the gate. But I'm gonna get backstabbed a lot, so maybe it wasn't maybe it's not a good idea. I'm gonna teleport on the Lady of Winter. Next turn. Okay. Although, first things first. One Two, three, sure. Greetings, bitch. How you doing? All right, time for some armor recovery. This does kill the ward. Oh. I was trying for a knockdown there. <sighs> it's fine. Sorry, ward. I'm gonna go over here so I can't be surrounded. See, I can't be pulled. Look at that. I knew it. I was thick. I knew it all along. Fortunately, I am in a little bit of a pickle still. <laughs> Amen from, from Origins? Poor Amen. Amen always gets robbed when I play the game. Because, you know, I take his son and sacrifice it to the very attractive demon. Mm. Losing all my fiddly fucking armor. Alright, let's punch him.
Hmm, I should also jump on the archer if I can. Not quite. One more turn. Okay, bro. Calm down. Calm thine tantas. Please. Greetings! Alright, she's dead. I'm gonna freeze this guy. He's scary. I don't like him. Alrighty. That should be that. I hope. No, oh, I didn't mean to move! But it's still that. I'm just out of armor now, which is great. All that armor lost. For what? Nothing. <sighs> At least I have a bucket of hit points. You can intimidate the demon for any of the rewards and save the sun? Really? What does it take to do that? I usually just sacrifice the sun. <laughs> Temporary armor. It's like they knew I'd lose it all. I don't know where the druid went. Oh, I found the druid. Through the gate now. Wait, why can't I use gates? What is this? I can't close the gate. It mustn't get through. The crystals have been shattered. This is my land now. I'm controlling the gate now, and it leads wherever I want it to. Well, that's nice. Maybe, uh, just maybe, Mr. Baylor, Lord, sir. You could use it to summon some friends. Now, I'm going to be honest, the Taint Hog was not overly helpful. By which I mean it did nothing. So, yeah. I'm a little hesitant to let the Crystal Gates survive. I guess I'm going to try and pull everyone over. That's my thing doing. Okay. Pull everyone to the corner. That's probably a waste of a stomp, but... It's fine. Are you kidding me? Well, okay. That's unfortunate. I spy my little eyes a shitload of armor. <laughs> Please kill her. Okay, good. Now comes the problem that um, I have some big boys on top of me. Dear God, Mr. Windcaller person, leave. Flee the city! Okay. All 
Uh, sure. I need to kill her too. She's currently doing very annoying things. Now, back to you. Back to our sponsors for today. Getting demolished. Is the new fad. Okay, if I can kill this guy. Oh, motherfucker, lives at one. Yeah, this is kind of what I was afraid of. Look at all that backstab damage. Jesus. Okay, first step is that. I'd have really appreciate it if I had all my fucking AP back. Next turn I can teleport. I'm gonna have to reload. That was through freeze, by the way. Holy shit. Alright, I have to reload. It looks like the bad. You maxed out the chat skills and did it last run you did. So 16 cunning. Oh, that's a lot of cunning. That's a lot of cunning. <laughs> okay. So going in doesn't work. And you know what that means? That means it's the other option. Which is running away and funneling them all together. Which is really unfortunate. Because of the gates and the ladies and all that shit. But hey... It is what it is. And it ain't what it ain't. Ah, this is gonna be annoying. I'm gonna push Brew Rake back one more. You know what? Let's summon. Ah, no, they're just gonna die as these things come in. Maybe that's fine? We'll save the summon for once everything has come to me. Then I'll summon behind me. That's what I'll do. That makes the most sense to me. Okay. And I need to get a good stomp here. So I need to stomp one of the bosses, which I guess is... You? You have mass damage? Okay. What? Did I auto it? I clicked stomp game. Could I even kill it? I think I could kill him through Yeah, okay. Hold on. I click stomp. Alright, come on. Same shit. Same shit, different <laughs> different attempt. Here we go. Come at me. Bruh. Well, I mean, I guess the good news is I can freeze both the bosses in one go.
And I can hit them both, too. Getting rid of the bosses is pretty important, I think. What do you mean this is not a kill? In what world is this not a kill? This one, apparently. Okay. My strike damage is so little. I'm not even sure it's worth it. You know what would be great right about now? Inspire. Inspire would be pretty swell. a bunch of armor. But it's probably more important I just kill this guy. And because I'm afraid he's going to dodge back, we'll do it this way. Which almost feels like a waste. Really? Okay. Am I really going to teleport in for a backstab? I think so. Now the only problem, okay, there are a few problems. The continuing problem, we'll say. Okay. Let's summon our works. Maybe they'll be helpful. Okay, they can't do anything yet, which means this guy's gonna backstab and kill him, but that's okay. That's a turn I'm not being attacked. Similarly, that's a turn I'm not being attacked. Uh, I need to get rid of the druid too. He's doing true damage to me. I'm not sure what's more important. I'm really not. Okay. Well, Mr. Springborn. You're going to keep hitting me. Okay. Well, I was kind of hoping the wargs would... Um, do something. But that's okay. I didn't think it was actually going to die. Please die. Don't live it too. Okay. Yeah, okay. This summon ability is shit. <laughs> I should just summon the Taint Hog to be a distraction, Carnifex, and literally no other reason. Okay. Good news and bad news. Good news and bad news. Good news. Sure. Actually, I can. I'm tempted to drop a rock on your face, too. But I guess I'm not going to. I need to get out of this shit. I'm in a firestorm and a fucking ice tornado. Okay, back in the corner. I hope they don't all jump on my spellcaster now. Okay. Great. Ah, yep. I 
I hope they didn't do exactly what I what they did. So armor, I could kill all these balls with the caster. But next turn, if I don't, next turn I can kill them with Falling Rock and get a whole bunch of armor back. You know what, I think I'm gonna have to eat this auto attack and get closer. Because if I don't, they're just gonna all shoot my caster. And life is really going to suck. You know, more than it already does. I'm wide open for a back step from this ankle. Motherfucker. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's get some armor. <laughs> That's something. It's not much, but it's something. Greetings. You fuckers. <laughs> Even backstabs are just like no damage with this character. Alright. Could you guys stop, please? Just leave me alone. Okay. Good enough. Oh. Can I go one turn without being stunned or frozen or triple chilled or something? That would be great. I think I still have my armor gain. I do. Okay. My request was heard, but denied. I really hope I get to heal. Because <laughs> if I don't... <sighs> well, let's just say things are going to be pretty bad. Pretty bad indeed. Fuck you. One nuisance dead. What can you do? Very little. Yep. yep. Very little. As I said. As I said. Very little. This is a kill. All I have to do is connect with this attack. Perfect. We did it! And I only almost killed my caster. Jeez. That was hard. Uh, I can go from here. I'm not sure how else I should have approached that. Every other method was not great. <laughs> like, obviously the gates are a major pain in the ass, but... Wait, why didn't the other guy... Oh, the other guy did heal. Alright, Baylor. You can control where this goes, right? Show me. 
You have followed the servants of the Blackthorn Council to the dangerous and hidden forest of the Shi in Avalon. In this deep wood, your master awaits your arrival bound in magical chains. Do not disappoint, mighty Baylor. If I'm supposed to enter this place with full armor and health to prepare for this mission, I don't even know where to begin. It's a she warlock. Oh, hi, bro. I almost feel pity for you, godling. All that plotting, and you are still in chains. I'm here to send you back to the emptiness. Your arrogance has been always your undoing, she. Just like now. Please tell me I have some health bank. For the love of the Dark Gods. You have called me, Master. And here I am. You will pay for this, she. Please? Motherfucker. <sighs> okay. That's one thing. Uh, hopefully we can start. I think Baylor helps here. I think I'm. I think that's part of what I'm picking up. I'll show this. this. And move over to assist. Good. Break the chains. Set me free. I'm working on it. But life isn't always so easy, Mr. Baylor. Oh, they're attacking Baylor. Oh. Okay. So I guess I should focus. Uh, where should I shoot this? By the way, Mr. Baylor, um, sir, you do know that I have very little ways of contributing to this, right? I hope you know that, because it's true. Oh, God. Ah, uh, okay. He's dying more than I am. <laughs> All right, Mr. Brurag. Uh I need to break more chains. Need to move up more too. One. Is there one of these that just gives you a shitload of health? Because that would be great. I misclicked. No, I didn't. Oh, break the gate or break the thing. I broke the thing, Baylor. Don't disappoint me. Uh, looks like I'm about to be disappointed. Mm hmm. Baylor, why? You're the god. <laughs> So we have to literally rush that. Like a hardcore rush. Uh, the chains. 
or else Baylor's gonna die. All right, that's fine. We got this. I think. How's the wholesome? <laughs> how's the wholesome Christian stream going? Uh, Your arrogance is decently enough. It's kind of hard, to be honest. <laughs> But I get to crush she, which is always fun. Uh, sure. Please don't live at five. I had a request. Break the chains. Set me free. I'd love to. I really would. All right. Here we go. I feel like it shouldn't be possible to stun Baylor. Anyone else get that opinion? Go over here. I feel like Baylor should be unstunnable. All right. Gates are breaking. Skulls are cracking. Kind of. Hey Lord, don't you die on me. I feel like Baylor is not listening to me. <sighs> line of sight, line of schmite. I'm gonna give it there. I guess I'm ignoring this guy for a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. That's even better. Give me some armor. All right, Mr. Tainhog. What you up to? Nothing, apparently. Hey, look, you're being mildly useful. Okay. Caster? Hmm. I need to be one, two, three, four tiles closer? Bro, you basically want me to be in melee range for this. Um, okay, well, it's better than losing, I guess. Although not by much. All right, there's only one left now. I literally cannot free you any faster, so please don't die. He almost died anyway. I freed you, Master. Please kill them all, right now. No one will ever shackle me again. Maybe not, but you still have only 98 fucking hit points. Uh, and there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Mr. Baylor, sir. My 
Uh, I can freeze this she. And that's all I can do. Please don't die. Oh, my taint hog. How could I forget my taint hog? My lovely taint hog that's done so much work for me. So much. Hmm. How the actual fuck am I supposed to prevent him from dying? Didn't I just, like, bum-rush the things? Do I have to kill the people? Is that even possible? Because <laughs> there's so many enemies. I mean, I realize I come into this really low HP, but still. Pump them up, then use Regan's Freeze. Doesn't buy me a whole. I mean, it buys me a turn, I guess. Also, I'm so far away. I. So you're basically saying that Reagan has to literally just run in. I'm probably gonna die if I do that. But I mean, hey. It's not like there's much else I can do. Oh, you know what? That's a good point. Summoning the Taint Hog in front. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gates are a lot closer this time. I'm not sure why. It's nice when Baylor gets to contribute to this. Thank you for my armor back. Appreciate it. Uh, I'll just crump this, that's fine. A little bit of a waste, but... Well, an overkill, I should say. Well, okay. Not a waste, an overkill. Bane of Bang that lives at six. Mm. Okay. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna summon the Taint Hog in front. It might not work. I did buy a bit of time. Ally's turn. He did nothing. Baylor, listen. I know you're like the god and everything, but I'm going to need you to do something. Just like anything, okay? Literally anything. Uh... Damn. I'm about to eat this. Okay. I hope my Taint Hog holds on. Because I'm going to get backstabbed by these if he doesn't. Alright. There we go, Baylor. Now you're thinking with hammers. Uh. 
Uh, I still think he's dead, but... That's better. Uh, just killing all these things. There's no way I can kill that without my spell. That's what's supposed to happen. He's supposed to be stunning stuff. Well, he's supposed to be doing literally anything. But, okay, so the problem is the freeze. The freeze is preventing him from acting, which is preventing him from saving himself, which is preventing him... I'm going to save here. From doing stuff. Okay. So, we'll summon the Taint Hog near the Freezy guy. And basically repeat history. This guy. Uh, we'll summon him forward, too. There. Uh, and then... Be pretty nifty if these bastards died. Be pretty nifty. But I probably should focus on making sure the shrines die. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll break the things. Okay. Gates are in an even better position for me, I think. Good. Okay. Are you serious? Are you for real right now? There's no way that lives at three. There's no way that lives at three. Not a chance. Okay, good. There was actually a chance. I'm glad it didn't. Okay. Um. Wow, it's so nice that I can actually knock something down. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Okay. I wish I could move away from this guy, but it is what it is. Alright, Baylor. You have a turn for once. Do something with it. Please. <sighs> or don't. That's fine, too. So he wasn't frozen, but he was stunned. Which, I guess, is about the same. Uh. I wish I could hit the gate, but I don't think I can. I have to move and do stuff. So I guess I'll just hit him. Gonna have to kill him eventually. Alright, Baylor, you're free. No one will ever shackle me again. I really wish that he, like, got health back when I broke these or something. <laughs> that kind of feels like the only way, but... Hey. Let's find out. Baylor, you're going to have to do something huge here. 
You can't be stunned. You won't be frozen. You'll be shocked and chilled, which are bad, but... Baylor, please, for the love of the Dark Gods! Freeze you bastard, it's not free again. What's the point in giving Baylor abilities if he never gets the chance to use them? Between stun, frost, chilled, shocked, frozen... He never gets to cast a spell. Are you sure he's actually fucking healing? Because it doesn't feel like it. I don't know which one of these is the stun. I don't remember. So should I try and... Hmm. Okay, well the next solution... Uh, is to try and destroy different... Different... Different ones. That makes the most sense to me. Like, if killing these first isn't the answer, what if I kill these first? There's probably a very specific one that's preferable, but I don't know which one it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've helped you. Don't forget it. The gates are opening. The gates of hell. Alright, he actually got a turn. So far, so good. I'm very afraid this won't kill this. Like, supremely afraid. Okay, I'm getting teleport back next turn, so I'm gonna actually go down here and kill this. Baylord, you're gonna have to do something. Shocked. Okay. Bleeding. Stunned, motherfucker. Hey, Lord, please. I want to help you. I do. I really do. But I can't help you if you're gonna be such a bitch. I also have no AP. God damn it. Okay. In fact, I'm gonna kill them. Alright, Baylor. 
be great if you did something. Anything? Oh, thank you. Why no teleport in front with the staff guy? Seriously? I mean, I'd prefer to have him alive. <laughs> You know, that would that would be preferable. Okay. But I guess he's not required. Do not get I kind of feel like I'm going to have to do that. I don't want to. But I feel like it's going to have to be done. Because I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to keep Baylor alive here. Not even a little bit of an idea. He's just a giant beat stick for everything in the middle. And he doesn't get any turns because he's chilled and perpetually frozen and... I like this strategy. The strategy seems pretty good. What about killing the mobs first? Hmm. That might be possible. trying to think. So if I were to kill the mobs first. I wish this was a kill. It could have been if I kept enough AP for falling rocks. Now there's a start. There's a thought. Who's more annoying? Well, a two fur is probably preferable. Hmm. I hadn't thought of that. I guess I was kind of hoping that if I just freed Baylor. he would cons uh, uh, contribute, but obviously that's not the case. Get to slap that a little bit while we wait for our stuff to come back. Okay. So if I turn one, kill the three casters, which is possible, 
I'm not sure what I'm going to have to sacrifice to do that, though. I'll break one of these. Look at that, that's good. The, ca the gates are still open, which sucks, but... Break them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... Over here. Alright. The Taint Hog is a decent tank still. The Taint Hog. But the time of tanking is about to be over. Okay, see so the Lord is dying. Next turn, maybe. Uh, not in a great spot. Can I hit what I want if I move back one? Yes, I shoot here. Let's see, ye. Although, unfortunately, I'm going to hit my hog and kill it. Hit that. Knock this one down. Uh, I guess that works. Sure. I'll take it. Now I'll kill that next turn. Okay. New Seely Lord has been summoned. This looks like a defeat, but I've learned a lot. So I'm less upset about it, I guess. At least I've learned something, I guess. So I should appreciate it. My back is turned to you guys, so you should shoot me, right? Yeah. Please do something, Baylor. Not that, though. Something helpful, preferably. Can I crush this guy? Maybe. Whee! Yep. All right, no more backstab maxes. Okay, teleport here, stab that, go here. Ah, yep. Baylor. You are so not useful. <laughs> like, holy shit. Please die. Okay. All right. No one will ever shackle me again. We are very wounded, but we're alive and we're together. Which I think counts for something. Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. It's like a win to you. We did get it, yeah. I'm just thinking... My only concern is... Was this enough of a win? Because Baylor's wounded. You have done well, my champion. Are you really free? You broke the chains that kept me imprisoned. There is nothing else my enemies could do against me. 
Are we joining the war raging on Avalon? We don't need to. Huh? That war is almost over. A fallen Black Knight is fighting his last battle against a mad god king. And whoever is victorious shall be weak. We will swipe them away. Yes. It will be so. It is time to return to the Void and assemble my armies. Then the conquest of Avalon begins. As you say, Master, Avalon shall fall. It is over. The last hurdle in your god's plan has been removed, and mighty Baelor is free. While a fallen knight and his former god-king wage their last great battle in Avalon, the Fomorian army prepares to invade your ancient land. You have been victorious. No. Oh. That was that. Okay. I know it said miniature adventure, but I wasn't expecting three quests. <laughs> But okay, a dub is a dub, my friends. That was something. Hmm. How do I feel about that? It was kind of fun. I was getting a little frustrated near the end because I didn't quite understand. I thought, okay, I was frustrated because I didn't understand the scope of the mission. I thought it was, we're going to free Baylor and we're going to go rampaging through the deep wood to find our escape, not... This is the end. <laughs> so take it slow and don't be a bitch. Not, uh, you know. <laughs> if I realized that was the end of the, the thing, I would have been like, oh, okay, I don't need to conserve my HP. Let's just yeet ourselves in there and tank everything. I thought there was going to be more. But, um, hey, that does explain what happened. That does explain it. It really does. Oh, look, these are the little books here. I was hoping for an achievement, too, but I don't know. Wanted to see more Baylor. I know, right? I thought we'd get to control him. But, um, hey, that was the miniature campaign. They weren't kidding. So the only thing I know uh, outside of this is that was the first seasonal piece of content. They planning, they're planning on more. They call them seasons, like, in reference to, like, the Fortnite seasons or whatever. That was the first thing that popped to my mind, and I wish it wasn't. But uh, they're also working on more, they call it long-form content. I'm not sure if that's additions to the main campaign or not. Uh, I kind of hope so, but that is what it is. That was the Chained God. And I guess I might as well call it. Two hours isn't bad. Can just wrap it all up in one nice little bow. We will return with King Arthur to check out more of the Chained God next time. We shall see the return of our Dread Queen. Choose a save game in which you've already defeated King Arthur to continue your journey in Avalon through the Chained God Seasonal Endgame. Look at that. Level 21 Sir Mordred. How young and frail we were. <laughs> so it'll be the next King Arthur stream. Thank you all for joining me today. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of a campaign, the mini campaign there. Let me know what you thought. If you, you know, if you want to. Otherwise, you can join the Discord description down below to stay up to date with everything happening on the channel. Thank you to the patrons and channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. And I'll see you all next time for more stuff. Bye!